In this video I'm going to look at an aerial photograph of the Pollard's Hill area at the beginning of the 1950s. From my Mitcham History Notes website, choose Photos, and then under any aerial click on Mitcham, which gives a list of the areas of Mitcham that are covered by these aerial photographs that are available on the Historic England's website. Here's Pollard's Hill, and the photographs are from 1952. I'm going to go straight to the last one in the list, because I've just had a look at it, and that's the one that looks to the north, and that'll be easy enough to compare that with current maps. It says at the bottom, Pollard's Hill, 1952, flown 23rd of October, 1952. So let's zoom in to that roundabout, which is a good starting point. So let's go over to Google Maps to do a comparison. Here's the map I prepared earlier. Here's that roundabout. Let's look at the satellite view and go to 3D and zoom in a bit. So here's the roundabout with going clockwise, Sherwood Park Road, Wide Way, Recreation Way, South Lodge Avenue, there's the Pollard Hill Library, and Chestnut Grove. And this building of shops and flats on the corner of Chestnut Grove and South Lodge Avenue should be the easiest one to look at on the 1952 view. And there it is there. There is that row of shops and flats. Actually my first observation is this addition, you just about see it, is a single floor and that is still the case today currently occupied by Kaylin's Restaurant. I've been there a couple of times. A very nice, tasty Persian stew. Anyway, I'm not here to advertise them. Let's go back to the aerial photograph. So this is Chestnut Grove. The area here is clear. And again, it's difficult to see at this level. Can't zoom in any further. But there are two Nissan huts side by side. Eric Montague said in his book that that was a temporary pub set up by Whitbreads, the brewers. This was in response to the tenants of the new housing estate, to the local council, Mitcham Borough Council, as it was then, that there was no pub in the area. So the council gave that land to Whitbreads the Brewers, and they hastily put up these two Nissan huts, which later they built a pub of brick, which opened in 1960, called the Pollard Oak. I'll do a separate video about that later. Anyway, here, the key feature here is that all of these small single floor dwellings, single story dwellings, were temporary housing um, prefabs. Quite a few as you can see. I say temporary, apparently some of them were still in existence up until 1970. What this aerial photograph does show are these flats that were built. It's quite likely that this photograph was taken not long after they'd been completed. The blocks of flats are very similar in design to Mainwaring Court and Consby Court in Arfield Crescent. I think as a child I went up to Pollard's Hill with my parents to visit relatives and I was very confused to go all the way across Mitcham to come across a block of flats similar to where I grew up. I don't know when they were demolished. Sorry about that. Anyway, going back to the Google Maps, 
of the Pollard Hill Library and Community Centre, according to Eric Montague, was finished in July 1970 at a cost of £41,000. And these developments are very similar to the ones at Eastfield's housing estate that was built on the site of the Payne Firework Factory and also the ones down by the river at Ravensbury Park. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, press the like button if you can and consider subscribing. Bye.